Hello, space lovers. Have you ever wondered what would happen if you fell into a black hole? Well, you're not alone. This is one of the most popular questions on Google, and the answer is not as simple as you might think. In fact, it's so mind-blowing that it challenges the very laws of physics and reality as we know them. In this video, we're going to explore the mysterious nature of black holes, the different types that exist in the universe, and what would happen to you if you ever got too close to one. But before we dive into the cosmic abyss, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our awesome videos. And if you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. It really helps us out a lot. Thanks. So, what are black holes anyway? Black holes are regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing can escape, not even light. That's why they appear black against the background of space. They are formed when massive stars die and collapse under their own weight, creating a point of infinite density and zero volume called the singularity. The singularity is surrounded by a boundary called the event horizon, which marks the point of no return for anything that crosses it. Once you're inside the event horizon, there's no way out. You're doomed to fall towards the singularity and be crushed out of existence. Sounds scary, right? Well, it gets even weirder. There are different types of black holes in the universe, ranging from tiny to colossal. The smallest ones are called primordial black holes, and they are believed to have formed in the early stages of the Big Bang. They could be as small as an atom, but have the mass of a mountain. The most common ones are called stellar black holes, and they are the result of massive stars collapsing at the end of their lives. They can be up to 20 times more massive than our sun and have a diameter of about 10 kilometers. The biggest ones are called supermassive black holes and they are found at the centers of galaxies. They can have millions or billions of times more mass than our sun and have a diameter of millions of kilometers. Our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a supermassive black hole at its core, which is about 4 million times more massive than our sun. It's so far away from us that we don't have to worry about it affecting us in any way. In fact, our solar system orbits around it just like any other star in the galaxy. But what if we somehow got closer to it? What if we decided to take a trip into a black hole? What would we see and feel? Well, that depends on who's watching. You see, black holes are not just cosmic monsters that devour everything in their path. They are also theoretical laboratories that test the limits of our understanding of physics and reality. According to Einstein's theory of general relativity, gravity can bend space and time around massive objects like black holes. This means that time slows down near a black hole and distances get distorted. This also means that what happens inside a black hole depends on your perspective. If you're falling in, or if you're watching someone else fall in, you'll see very different things. Let's say you're brave enough to jump into a black hole. What would you experience? Well, first of all, you'd need a very powerful spaceship to get close enough to the event horizon without being torn apart by tidal forces. Tidal forces are caused by the difference in gravity between your head and your feet as you approach a black hole. The closer you get, the stronger they become until they eventually stretch you into a long spaghetti-like strand. But let's assume you have such a spaceship. As you approach the event horizon, you'd notice some strange effects. First of all, you'd see the stars behind you get brighter and bluer as their light gets amplified by the gravity of the black hole. You'd also see them move faster across the sky as your speed increases. Secondly, you'd see the stars in front of you get dimmer and redder as their light gets stretched by the gravity of the black hole. You'd also see them converge into a single point above you as your field of view gets narrower. Thirdly, you'd see a distorted image of yourself reflected back at you from behind the event horizon. This is because some of the light from your spaceship would bend around the black hole and reach your eyes from behind. As you cross the event horizon, nothing dramatic would happen to you. You feel no sudden change in gravity or acceleration. You'd still be in free fall, feeling weightless. You'd also still be able to see some light from outside the black hole for a while. This is because light takes time to travel from its source to your eyes. So even though nothing can escape from inside the event horizon, some light from outside can still reach you for a brief period. However, this light would get dimmer and redder as time goes on. Eventually, it would fade away completely as you plunge deeper into the darkness. At this point, you'd be doomed. 
there would be no way for you to communicate with anyone outside or reverse your course, you'd be falling toward the singularity at an ever-increasing speed. As you get closer to the singularity, gravity would become stronger and stronger until it becomes infinite at the center. This means that space and time would become meaningless there. The laws of physics would break down and reality would cease to exist. You'd never actually reach the singularity though. You'd be ripped apart by tidal forces long before that. Your atoms would be crushed into nothingness and your information would be lost forever. Or would it? This is where things get weird. According to quantum mechanics, information can never be destroyed. It can only be transformed or transferred. This means that whatever happens to you inside a black hole must somehow be encoded in the black hole itself. But how can that be? How can a black hole store information if nothing can escape from it? This is the famous black hole information paradox that has puzzled physicists for decades. It seems to contradict both general relativity and quantum mechanics, two of the most fundamental theories of nature. There are many possible solutions to this paradox, but none of them are fully satisfactory. Some of them involve exotic phenomena like wormholes, parallel universes, or quantum entanglement. Others involve modifying the laws of physics or changing the nature of black holes. One of the most intriguing solutions is proposed by Stephen Hawking, who suggested that black holes are not completely black after all. He argued that due to quantum effects, black holes can emit a faint radiation called Hawking radiation. This radiation carries some of the information from inside the black hole to the outside world. However, this process is very slow and random. It would take longer than the age of the universe for a black hole to evaporate completely and reveal all its secrets. So, if you're watching someone fall into a black hole from a safe distance, what would you see? You'd see them slow down and turn red as they approach the event horizon. You'd also see them get distorted and stretched by tidal forces. Then you'd see them disappear behind the event horizon and never come back. You'd also see a faint glow of Hawking radiation coming from the black hole. But this radiation would not tell you much about what happened to them inside. It would be scrambled and random, like a garbled message. So, in a sense, both realities are true. You'd see them vanish behind the event horizon, and they'd see themselves fall towards the singularity. But neither of you would ever know what happened to them inside the black hole. Isn't that mind-blowing? In conclusion, black holes are fascinating objects that challenge our understanding of physics and reality. They are not just cosmic monsters that devour everything in their path. They are also theoretical laboratories that test the limits of our knowledge and imagination. They are also very dangerous and mysterious places that we should avoid at all costs, unless we're feeling very adventurous and curious. But don't worry, there's no need to fear black holes. They are very far away from us, and they don't go around hunting for prey. They are just minding their own business in the depths of space. So, next time you look up at the night sky and wonder what's out there, remember that there are amazing things beyond our comprehension waiting to be discovered. And maybe one day, we'll find out what happens inside a black hole. But until then, we can only speculate and marvel at the wonders of the universe. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. And if you have any questions or comments about black holes or anything else related to space, please leave them below. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, stay curious and keep exploring.